dinner, we we had a few disagreements. Because everybody wanted something different to eat. So we decided to put it to a vote. Can I have crab legs and butter with that, please? I'll take a corned beef lean on rye. Chicken was my vote. There's so many things they can do with it. It's probably the most versatile of the uh, meats. Salmon. This best one's blackened. <laughs> Turns out that nobody got what they really wanted, so we had to uh, we had to compromise. I'd like to thank the Actors Studio for helping our contestants with that incredible <laughs> performance. That's just lovely. Let's uh, recap where you are standing in the tally. Tiffany, who misses her husband, you're at 20 points. Seth, you're at 10 points. Petra, you're at 25 points in the lead. And Mike is at 20 points, all right? That's where you stand right now. Hark! It's Tinkerbell and Heat. That sound means it's time now for SYBG News. Now, you're about to see and hear three news stories. Two are fake, one is real. Your job, obviously, to pick the real news story. If you do, you'll get ten points. Now, using the latest in satellite technology, we go live to our SYBG newsroom and anchorman, Steve Edwards. Steve? Thank you very much, Tom. Here's your first news story. Critics who think the British monarchy is stuck in the Middle Ages got a future shock this week. Is it true that Britain's royal family is planning to clone itself? That's the startling revelation Andrew Morton makes in his soon-to-be-published book, God Save the Queen. In an excerpt printed in the London Sun, Morton claims the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, recently ordered each member of the royal family to supply DNA samples to the same team of scientists who pioneered the cloning of Dolly the Sheep. Morton also claims that the Queen Mother, seen here, who recently turned 100, had once made inquiries about having her head cryogenically frozen upon her death. Buckingham Palace has issued a terse denial. I have another story for you. There is no denying the impact of this next story. It's had on men of all nationalities. Some like it hot, or so say doctors at Johns Hopkins University. A surprising new study to be published in next month's New England Journal of Medicine finds that the peppers used in Tabasco sauce may have the same effect on men as the drug Viagra without any of the harmful side effects. 500 men included in the study reported an increase in both the frequency and the duration of their lovemaking within one hour of swallowing a teaspoon of the hot sauce. The Tabasco company, who had nothing to do with the study, is cautioning men that their sauce is meant to be ingested. Apparently, some men ended up with irritations after rubbing the hot sauce directly on their skin. Naturally, sales of the red hot condiment are expected to skyrocket and stay up for some time. <laughs> and finally, a shaggy dog tail from New York City. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Super Dog. He may be blind, deaf, and 17 years old, but this plucky little Shih Tzu still has plenty of bark left. And he proved it by surviving a 300-foot drop to the busy Manhattan Street below. Last Thursday, the dog's owners put him out onto her 30th floor balcony for his daily constitutional. When she returned moments later, the pampered poots had vanished into thin air, and she was literally scared Shih tzu -less. She scurried downstairs only to find the kamikaze canine clinging to a bush with barely a hair out of place. Whoever said you can't teach an old dog new tricks obviously never met this courageous critter. And that's all for now from the SYBG Newsroom. I'm Steve Edwards. Tom, we throw it back to you. Thank, thank, thank you, Steve, in, in the newsroom. Well, gang, you've heard the, uh, the three stories. Do you think the real story is A, royal cloning, the queen momsicle, B, <laughs> hot sauce, or C, Miracle Dog. Make your choice, lock it in. All right.
Seth, you're going for the miracle dog. Why? The dog just doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does not look like it's in good shape. You think that's a dog? And I eat looks... a lot of peppers and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing. The peppers not are doing nothing, nothing, nothing for you right now. Michael, why do you think it's a royal cloning? Because it sounds like something they would do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, Petra, you're going with uh, the I'm hot sauce. i hoping it's the hot sauce. You're hoping it's yeah. the hot sauce. <laughs> for Seth's uh, sake. No. Oh, how, how kind. Tiffany? I went with the hot sauce because of the uh, scientific things they found about it in the past. Blood flow, things like that. So you'll be celebrating the first anniversary a little late, if that's <laughs> true, huh? <laughs> well, actually, it is C, our miracle oh. dog. Our miracle dog survived that ball. You got yourself 10 points, mister. Let's recap uh, where you are right now. We have a three-way tie right now. Tiffany, Seth, and Mike are at 20 points. Petra's in the lead with 25 points. Oh, that sound could only mean that it's time to play names and faces. And here's how we play them. I'm going to show you some pictures. I'll ask you questions about them. I'll give you four possible answers. 10 points are on the line for every correct answer. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. All right. Since you've been gone this past week, Chelsea Clinton has been in the news. According to last Wednesday's edition of the New York Daily News, what's Chelsea doing that makes some people think she's following in her dad's footsteps? A. Smoking cigars. B. Running for senior class president at Stanford. C. Getting fat on McNuggets and fries. Or or D, dating a White House intern. Oh. Pick your letter, lock it in. Why, D Tiffany and Seth, right to D, <laughs> right to D, why? You know, family, family things, they, they run deep. Family ties run deep. I think. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, that kind of thing. Right. Same with you, Seth, for that oh, yeah. one? All Stick right. In the family. Guess what? It's D, that's right. She's uh, dating a White House intern. I don't know if you all know about this. According to the Daily News in New York, Chelsea's been dating classmate Jeremy Kane, who interned this past summer in the speech writing department at the White House. So there you go. Strange, but true. Here's our next story. According to Daily Variety, Survivor champion Richard Hatch has already been offered a job by A. Motivational guru Tony Robbins. B. Trojan condoms. <laughs> C. Jenny Craig. Or D, the Boy Scouts of America. <laughs> Lock it in. I'm not surprised to see no D's up there among the choices. Uh, but we have a couple of C's, a B, and an A. Why did you choose Trojan condoms, Michael? Because he was. And I mean this not as a personal question to you, but based on the story. I mean, he was the guy that was walking around naked, right? That's right. <laughs> then to me, I seemed like the most obvious. Because he was like the human sundial on the island. Exactly. That's right. Yes. Well, in fact, you are correct, sir. Yeah, Trojan man. condom. Oh, he is oh, you get yourself uh, ten oh, points on that one, Michael. To the man. Jerry Lewis made the news for this appearance on the Larry King Show. What is the comedian doing in this charming photo? And this is our, our last question. He's storming off the set after Larry asked about reports that he's difficult to work with. B, demonstrating the kind of reaction he gets when he goes to France. C, spontaneously breaking into song. Or D, reacting to the announcement that Ted Turner has pledged $1 million dollars to his telethon. Choose a letter, lock it in. Petra, hello. Oh, God. All else fails to see. <laughs> all right. You all picked spontaneously breaking into song. Petra, you took the longest. Why? What was the. You know what? They all seem possible. They all seem so. possible. All <laughs> yeah. right. Except the fact that he's a genius in France. I have trouble with that <laughs> myself. But you're right. It's true. C is right. Yeah, spontaneously yeah. breaking. In the song. So let's see how we're doing. Petra, Petra, who really is thinking these things through, <laughs> is in last place. She's got uh, 35 okay. points, but Tiffany, Seth, and Mike are tied at 40 points. So one of you is going to get a trip around the world, all expenses paid for two at the end of this hour, and one of you is going to have an item in your personal life laid bare for all of America. Oh, no. And we'll find out who gets that honor when Since You've Been Gone comes back right after this. Don't you go. Home. <laughs>